Today on the menu, chicken and potatoes in a cast iron skillet. Chicken? I don't want chicken. That's what we're having. Then I'll starve. <laughs> Kids, stay tuned. All right, guys, so this is a family tradition. This is like one of those, just like, you know what I'm talking about. One skillet, one pot, one type of meals that just packs a of a flavor. So let me show you what we got going on already. All I did was trim up the chicken thighs. You guys know how much excess um, fat goes around the bottom. So for the last couple minutes, I just had the chicken going to the bottom. Okay, all this is is just extra skin that we're not going to be using later. Oven's preheated to 400. That's a good thing because that's what we're going to be set it on. This right here is just nothing but flavor. Plus, my dog loves this chicken skin. And I got to be honest with you, once it gets fried up and crispy, I'll sneak a couple pieces too. But that's how you build flavor. That's how you take something so simple and yet just add and add and add and just layer it with flavor. So, let's get back to going. All right. So we got our chicken thighs here. We're gonna, like I said, they're pre-trimmed. We're gonna come back to those. What do we got? We got a lemon, two heads of garlic. Now listen guys, if you guys don't like garlic, I don't know if you've ever had roasted garlic. Roasted just brings out something that I cannot explain. It's, it's, a, it's way less pungent. It's got a sweetness to it. Roasted garlic is just mm, soft. It, I love it. We got some big chunks of onion just because I love onion. And we got a little bitty uh, mixed bag of potatoes. You guys can use Idaho's, you can use red potatoes. We just bought some fingerling potatoes, but all this goes in one dish. And this, the, uh, all that fat from the chickens is gonna soup down into the potatoes and the onions and the garlic. Put a little butter in there and then when those potatoes cook, it's gonna absorb all that flavor. I can tell you, one of these dishes, I'm just, mm, I'm ready. Let's go. We got our chicken thighs in the skillet. They're very close to flipping. And this dish is on the downhill slide. But let me show you real quick. We got two heads of garlic. Like I said, I know it seems like a lot of garlic, but the sweetness, we might have some bad garlic in there. We'll see. I'm just gonna cut my heads right in half. Paper and all. Yeah, we got a bad one right there. Let's see. See that guys? Oh yeah. It happens. The microwave queen must have sabotaged the charcoal king in his videos. <laughs> I did not. I don't know enough All right. to even try to sabotage you. This one's pretty plain. We'll cut this one in half too. There we go. All right. All right, so now that's done, let's go check our chicken right here. I got a pretty good suspicion that we're pretty close. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it almost sounds like fried chicken, the healthy way. Healthy oh, fried yeah. chicken. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. That nice. You're putting it on a plate, you know that's not cooked, right? <laughs> we got a long ways to go. All right, besides the splatter, that's what we want. We want that fat. With the garlic, upside down. So you're putting it with the cut head upside side down. down. Yep, right in that oil. Mm. Take these extra heads, scatter those around, papers and all. It's all about flavor. Now we're going to take our onions, and the whole point of just doing our onions like this is just to get the char on. It's almost like the idea of a grill. If you could build just a little bit of flavor, God, I'm naughty. Smells you good. Smell it? It smells you smell good. It? Yeah, it smells good. Y'all smell that? 
If you have it, turn on your smell of this. Garlic and onions. Mm. Oh. That's like and chicken bad fat. breath 101. <laughs> <laughs> Garlic and onions together. All right. This is like the idea of, uh, you know, like trying to char something on the grill. Once it inherits that flavor, it's something that you can't replicate or reproduce. So just take the time. Don't throw everything in the pan. I'm just cleaning up a little bit. because the... Here, I'm coming on this side. Woo! Yeah. All right. I'm telling you, that thing's garlic. Oh. Mm. You could almost just eat it like this. Mmm. Couple more minutes. See that? See how we're starting to brown up a little bit on our onion? You guys see that? That's what we want. So, a couple minutes on each side. We're not going to move our garlic. It's going to keep cooking. We're going to flip the onions over. Once they cook a little bit further, we're going to take those out, add the potatoes, and start this one pot dish. Mm. Stay tuned. You know what I just noticed? How skinny I look? No. Oh. Oh, well, you looked really skinny right here. Look. Mm -hmm. Let's show them. Baby oh, Charcoal King. Ah! <laughs> Hoorah! <laughs> Supposed to sound mean in the Navy. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're at that time now. So what we're going to do, just remove our onions. Now, the reason why I do this whole and even leave the papers on is because, you know, it's one of those dishes where... You can serve it really whatever way you want to. I'll show you how nice and caramelized that garlic's getting. Oh, yeah. You, know, you don't want to leave it in the whole time because you de mm. definitely don't want to burn the garlic. That's why I keep the papers on, too. The, paper, the papers help it from burning. Um, but I just like but I just like the onion. What happens is that onion is going to break down. And if you cut your onion too small, it's just going to be like slivered, like just slimy onions. But if you bake them in a big chunk like that, it's almost like you're having like an extra vegetable on the side. We all need right. all the vegetables we can get, isn't that true? <laughs> well, we're eating healthy tonight. We're eating baked potatoes instead of big bacon potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> so, since it's baby carbs, it's, you can have it's more healthier. Oven. Yeah. Baby carbs. Plus, let's be honest. Can you guys hear this? Listen. Mm. That rendered chicken fat. Mm -hmm. Good dose of salt and pepper. Like any dish you're making, salt and pepper the layers. We're gonna start browning these. All that chicken fat. Mm. We're gonna add that butter. Instead of having a whole stick, we're gonna only add, you know, a little bit. <laughs> half a stick. Half a stick. Brown these potatoes off a little bit. God, that garlic is just wafting. Wafting. <laughs> that's that's a big word for you, babe. That's a culinary word. If it's a culinary word, I probably know. Wafting? Yes. Is the culinary word? The aromatics. Oh, let's see. How does it go? It's like one of those, like, you know, when you sip wine and you're... <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, you're too much. So, as the little garlic papers come off, you're picking them out, I guess? Yeah. I used to sit there and try to peel them and all that stuff. And I'm telling you, if you just learn to leave the garlic alone, you'll be amazed how much easier it is once the heat, heat gets see. onto nice it. Nice and slow, slow-mo. Ah, okay. So the little papers will just slide off mm -hmm. and save you some work. Sure, man. see? Ah, look at that. Learn something new look every day. Kitchen hack. Can we talk about what's on the bottom of this pan? Butter that, and fat? Oh my God. Butter and chicken fat? All right, we're gonna add our garlic back to it. Mmm. God, oh, honey, that just looks good. Add our onions. God, 
honey. Mm. All right, we're not going to squeeze the lemon. We're just going to add the lemons to it. I did about a half a lemon. All I did was quarter it. And then the star of the show. So this is your chicken that was cooked on one side. Yes. Brown. Oh, brown. Look at that. I know some culinary terms. Oh. Browned on one side. The whole point is now all this fat and all this flavor that drips down from this chicken, all these potatoes are going to pick up this flavor. And last but not least, one final touch. One final touch. I think you need a bigger pan. Hey, did you just say I need a bigger pan? Yes. <laughs> well, no. Charcoal no. King's going shopping. No, I take that back. No. <laughs> I take no, that back. It's on video. That just cost us a hundred bucks. <laughs>
That's what you call fork tender people. Look how thick that sauce is now. How it just glazes. Watch it just come right off the potato. Mm. Mm. God, I don't know if it needs anything. Let's put it back underneath the broiler for a couple minutes. It's going to uh, help tighten that sauce just a little bit. Help caramelize the tops. Obviously, our chicken's resting. You know, we're going to pour that juice all over that chicken. I feel like a walrus. <laughs> Is that a walrus or a sea lion? And we got a body like whatever it is. It don't matter. <laughs> hey, let me show you guys something. I mentioned this in one of my last videos or a previous video. I'm not a big fan of taking cast iron out of the oven with one of these. I know it's supposed to work, but this is a lot thinner than this. And I've done it before. And when you get a cast iron piping hot and you put this on there, it does get a little, a little toasty in the hand. So oven mitt, towel, whatever you feel comfortable with. I would just say, I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm just saying if you do this, just be careful. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Mm. Turn that bad boy off. And now what happens is, as this cools, all that fat and all that flavor is going to get absorbed back in potatoes. Got some blistered onions, just garlic, just absolutely just, where's the other head at? Right here. Watch what happens. Oh! <laughs> you can just squeeze it out. Oh yeah, look at that. That's flavor. Mash it up in the oils. Mmm. Mm. We're gonna do that. Alright, we're gonna let this bad boy rest because I can promise you what I'm not gonna do. Take a bite right now? I ain't taking a bite right now. One thing I've learned is my lesson. So we'll let it cool. Get maybe a plate decorated. Take a couple pictures. Oh look. At least we purchased it. <laughs> so. All right. Mm. All right, guys. So what we've done, take an ordinary chicken and enhance the flavor. I've already tasted it, I'm telling you. If it was on my arm, I'd have taken a bite out of my arm. It's that damn good. So here we go. Chicken thighs, got that crunchy skin on it. You can see how hot it is. Ooh, it's I hot. Let it cool down a little bit more, but. Mm. God, you see, look at that. Watch this. Oh, that's juicy. That is some juicy chicken. Anytime you can cook, it's almost like, oh God. Oh, geez. You can see the steam coming off. Super hot. Oh, that is super good. Mm. That it's is hard to some hey. hot chicken. God, that's good. It's hard to overcook thighs. Take a potato that's been basically stewed in chicken fat, butter, salt, pepper, rosemary, thyme, garlic, and lemon. We got a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner! <laughs> but up. This is how you take boring chicken and take it to the next level. Don't settle for boring, boiled, or baked chicken. Add a little love, add a little flavor, and it's going to go a long ways. Thanks for watching. Peace. Okay, give me a bite.